Hi, my name is Paul Hill and welcome to the digital art world. In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to apply a few simple filters to a photograph in order to create a comic book effect. Here is a quick look at the completed image that I'm going to create at the end of this video. I first saw the technique over at the Photoshop training channel. It's very effective. I wanted to give it a try for myself, so let's get started. First thing we need is an image, so I've selected a picture of my dog Arlo and I'm going to turn him into a comic book character. So going over to the layers menu, I'm going to hit the little padlock icon to unlock the layer and then selecting right click, convert to a smart object. This will allow me to perform non-destructive transformations without losing the original image. So now that I've done that, I can hit Ctrl J to duplicate the layer and then hide the original. I'm now going to go over to the filter menu and hit filter gallery. With poster edges already selected, I can zoom out and we can already start to see what effects this is having on the original image. So what the poster edges does is it really brings out any lines that the software detects or the strokes to give it that real um, comic book look effect with, the, with that heavy line and, and inking on the outlines. We can then go over to the menu panel on the right hand side and my recommendations with any tool in Photoshop is to just experiment and play with them to see what each of the settings does. So sliding each one to the maximum, you can see in the preview panel what each one does. Now each image will be different, but for this particular image, I'm going to select the edge thickness of two, the edge intensity of four, and then the posterization value of three. So I can now hit OK and it applies the effect to my image. The second filter is what is called oil paint. Now oil paint is a filter that lets you transform a photo into an image with the visual appearance of a classic oil painting. So with the default settings selected you can see what effect it's had on the image already. So I think you can start to see that it is started to have that comic book effect already. But again, play with the settings, see what each one of them does. And the easiest way I always find is to just slide all of the settings to the maximum to see what impact it has. Equally, slide it right down to the bottom to see what impact. One thing I will note here is that there is a lighting option, which if you select it, and you play with the shine variable, you can see that the impact that it has on the image, which I, I think is quite a cool effect, but not something that I'm looking for in this particular image. So I will go ahead and disable it. So the settings that I've found that work best for this image is stylization of four, cleanliness of about three, and then scale and bristle detail didn't really make any difference. So I'm just gonna select one for those images and then hit okay. So you can now see that we've started to create that comic book effect and, and we're not too far off. One thing that I do want to change um, just to make the image pop a little more is to add a brightness adjustment layer. So ramping up on the brightness just to, to make it a little bit more easy to see and then trying to make it really pop out with the contrast. I think we can go a little higher. Yep, so I'm going to leave that brightness at about 75, 76, contrast at 55, and I think we're pretty much there. One minor change I will make is to go over to the crop tool and then just straighten out the image because it is slightly lopsided. And then again with the move tool, I'm just going to nudge it over a little bit making sure that you've got the correct layer selected, of course, and then centralize the image. So we're done. Now all you need to do is save the image and you've got that comic book effect that you can apply to any single image that you want. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Also head over to the digitalartworld.com to check out my latest digital paintings or digital artwork projects. Thanks for watching and go create something.